Hello, my name is Jeff, and thank you for joining us for part five of our restoration today. This is our Chow Chow, Jenny the Chow, my assistant and director. And as you know, we're restoring a 1972 Mobilet X7. Well, today we're going to do the rack and the front mud flap. So here we go. This is the hasn't been washed or prepared yet. This is the the rack. It's got a slight surface rust on it, but it's not too bad. This is the handle for the rear. Now that's got that goes on there, and this has got a plastic top, so uh, that won't be able to be powder coated. So I'll have to spray these these ends. These are the little bolts. There's four on here. And then we've got four spacers that will uh, go underneath uh, with the bolts going through into the petrol tank. Also find it helps not to keep dropping things on the floor. And this is the mud flap for the front mud guard. Mud guard. It's, uh, I did try and repair it. It's torn around where the bolts go. So eventually I've given up. I've decided to get some more rubber uh, the same thickness and uh, then we will hopefully cut those out to size and hopefully that will do as a replacement well now just getting ready to do the media blasting I'm just going to do the little bits for, uh, first the bolts etc and then finally the rack as I say I do apologize it's nothing uh, it's nothing it's uh, you can't see too much I will need to change the screen again on the front um, I haven't got the vacuum cleaner today either to, to suck the dust out. My son's taken the extension lead, so I've only got one extension lead. So, apologies, you can just about see what's going on. This is the uh, metal strip that holds the rubber part of the mud guard on, the, the mud flap. So as I say, there is some very fine surface rust on this. Most of it's come off, just very fine, but I'm just going to go over with this orbital sander just to make it look a little bit better. And then once I've done that, we can powder coat it. Okay, we're now ready for the, oh, hang on a minute, sorry. I uh, just got to do a quick uh, quality check. Bear with me. So, all right, okay, she's happy with that. And then the bolts, are they clean enough? Yes, thank God for that. Okay, so we'll get on now with the uh, the rest of it. This is the acetone, as we always go over with that first. It just clears off any impurities. hear any barking in the background this is uh, not Jenny's next door neighbors just whilst I'm trying to do the voiceover okay so I'm using the electrostatic magic nickel again I want to use this nickel as a contrast color to the black and the yellow and also I'd like to thank my subscribers for sticking with me uh, as you know, we've just changed the channel name to Jeff and Jenny's Classic Restorations. I hope you don't mind that. Uh, it's just that we'll be doing a few more other things. And for any dog lovers, I'll be doing a few standalone videos of Jenny over the months. I'll also be doing some restorations, or not restorations, some uh, servicing on the uh, Lex Motor Pegasus. So I'll show that as we go on through the months. Okay, so we put it in the oven now. 
normally it's about 10 minutes at 180 degrees but it's a bit longer as it's a bit larger and it's come out very nice there's the spacers come out okay as well and then the end of the little bolts So here we go now, it's, it's fiddlier than I thought. Don't get the spacer in and then eventually the, the bolt. As always, all fingers and thumbs. started to go in once you get one started it makes uh, life a bit more easier and then finally get the uh, two rear ones in And then once we've got those in, we can just finally screw them up. And whilst we're doing this, I'd just like to thank all my subscribers that have stuck with me with the name change, etc. And also, if you do like um, watching some of these videos, please subscribe if you can. Uh, it does make uh, make it worth doing. I enjoy doing it anyway, but uh, it gives you a bit more enthusiasm if you know people are watching. But thank you to everyone that is subscribing. So there we go, that's been sandblasted. The little bolts I've just polished up, so I'll just keep those as they are. So it's all masked up now, I'm just going to use some etch primer just to do the end bits. And then finally some gloss black. So it's next day now, that's dried overnight. Just take the masking tape off. And now we can uh, start to get the handle on. It's supposed to make life easy when you're lifting it into a car and it folds up. So we've got the bolts through. This was also a little bit fiddly, so I didn't bother showing you that again. Um, so we're just gonna tighten up the bolts and uh, that's the the uh, rack finished. So whilst I was, uh, we're waiting for the rubber to come, it's not been delivered, so I've just um, used some cream paint and a uh, little bit of uh, clear coat for the steering stem cover so now we're waiting for the rubber and we waited and waited and waited Jenny got bored and then a few days later it turned up it's actually the same thickness as the uh, the original one so what I'm just gonna do is go round probably an easier way I'm just gonna go round and make an outline of the old one then cut off any excess that we're not going to use. I 
I should have used uh, closed pegs rather than clamps, but uh, makes it a bit awkward. But uh, we got there. carefully going around that we've got uh, the exact shape now what we've got to do now is uh, drill the holes out and then we've got to powder coat the metal clip if you can look in the oven now we've got the, the metal clip that holds it in and then the two bolts uh, that will hold it on from the other side I'm just using the pillar drill now just to gently go through the rubber just very slowly just two holes there okay so it was a little bit of a I was trying to get this in but uh, now I've got the black metal clip you can see it inside there now which has been powder coated now just screwing on the powder coated bolt onto some new nuts we've come to the end now so thank you very much for watching I hope you did enjoy this please subscribe if you do like it and I hope you don't mind the name change so on behalf of Jenny and myself we wish you a very pleasant day please take care out there and goodbye for now. Thank you.